Well, hello, crafters. Hi, this is Dawn with StampingWithDawn.com. How is everybody tonight? It is Wednesday evening. That would be December 30th. So it would be New Year's Eve's Eve, right? So I think New Year's Eve is going to be a, oh, a welcome sight for all of us. I don't know about you guys, but it's like, whew, I am ready to see 2021. You know, they say hindsight's twenty twenty, right? As they say. Ha ha, but um bump shh. Anybody got a rim shot uh sound that they could do there? Oh my gosh, I have had just the absolute best day today. Today was my launch for the spring catalog and the celebration. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I had some M and M's earlier today. You gotta have chocolate, right? You know, it's cold outside, so it was like, oh, chocolate, chocolate. Well, one went down the wrong pipe, so now I'm like, <clears throat> so pardon me, I do have something to drink here, so hopefully all will be well. Alrighty, I'm sharing this on here. Oh my gosh, we had so much fun today, though. <clears throat> um, we were out in the garage, it was kind of chilly, but um, it was raining, so there was no snow, we're okay with that, but it was just a little chilly, and I did have the heater on. But I think we all got a little chilly there for a while because I did have to open the door several times because um, when one lady was coming, another one was usually leaving. Oops, missed a button there. Was one was leaving, so we did that. So I'm still trying to get warm. I told my husband, I'm like, I'm putting on my, you know, nice fuzzy jammies. So I've got my little, um, I don't know, they've got like clouds and stuff on them. So, <laughs> you know, fleece is always good, right? All righty. So, well, it looks like a couple of you are here. So I'm going to chat with you for a few minutes. Um, it looks like I got a few new subscribers on my YouTube channel and also on my um, constant contact. So guys, if you like being advised of when we're doing different stuff, <clears throat> make sure you join my email list. At, you text the word Latte Joy to 22828. Earlier today, I went ahead and I sent the thing about the paper share. I'm going to go ahead and grab this, and I'll go uh, kind of quickly on these. But guys, in case you hadn't seen these, this is the spring 2021. So the catalog that it is, is the, um, it's this one, the January to June 2021 mini catalog. I still call it the spring catalog or the occasions catalog, but this is the one I'm talking about. So, well, hello, Miss Marsha. Hello, Miss Nancy. Hi, Miss Lori. It's so good to see you guys. Um, I got some new bags, so they're a little bit larger, so there is a little bit more wiggle room into it. But there are 123 sheets in all of these. And I know you're getting a lot of glare here on this, but I went ahead and I got everything all bagged. I got one package of each of them. And in accordance with Stampin' Up! rules, okay, I apparently cannot just put a, a link that you do for PayPal on there that you click and buy. Each package is divided by four people is how it's going to be. So with that, I have to wait until four people pay for it before I can order the paper, cut it, and then sell it that way um, or distribute it because I sell it when you guys pay for it. So right now there are three that are paid. So I got one more for this first batch and then I'll get the next batch. Um, now I cannot order until January 5th. So with that, on January 5th, I will be placing the orders. So if you are interested, you need to reach out to me and tell me, yes, Dawn, I want to be part of the paper share. And with that, then I send you an invoice for which you pay for it. And then I can order the paper once we have four. So this one right here, and I'm going to just show this to you. The whole thing, the 123 sheets is $43. You get 123 sheets of six by six. That's 13 packages, and each package is individually packaged. If you purchased it all of them individually, all 13 packages, here in Franklin County, Ohio, it would be $167.32. So $43 is a deal. I cut it all into six by six. I bag it up. The bags have the little, um, they're just like our Stampin' Up! bags. It has the adhesive on it. And I have listed on each one what you get out of it. So here, this is the... Love You Always specialty paper. And I've got the item number and it's $15. So you're getting 12 sheets of the six by six and you're getting four of each of them. And then I wrote what it was, which says Love You Always. So here on this one, and I'm just seeing if I can spread that out. And by the way, this is all white on the back, okay? So you can see you're getting one, two, three, four of the light. One, two, three, four 
of the darker and one, two, three, four of the green. And again, they're all six by six. And then all I do is just place them here into, <clears throat> into the bag here. And then it just seals up and boom, you've got it. So that way then you can stack them however you want to keep yours. So let me move that back up. So that was the Love You Always specialty paper. And this one, oh my gosh, you guys, this one's going to be so much fun. I have seen so many people playing with this. This is called True Love and it's all black and white. So you're getting 12 sheets of this one, six by six, and you're getting two of each. And the way I have these set up is I've got like the front and the back. So for example, this is the front, this is the back. See how that's together like that? So front and back. Then here's one, the back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, and back. So these are all black and white. Guys, those new brushes that we have, which I did set out today during the launch, and every single person, and guys, I had plenty of hand sanitizer there. I had the uh, bleach wipes on it. I had everything. But I made sure I told the ladies, I'm like, hey, make sure you guys touch those brushes. And everybody that touched it, because they had the exact same response I did was, oh, wow. Guys, those things, I mean, there just aren't any words to describe it. It was just kind of cool. So again, there's the True Love. Then this is the Hydrangea Hill. Now guys, on this one, um, there are a couple things that they are anticipating going on back order. Right now, this is not one of them, but this is the paper I'm planning on using for the retreat in January. So uh, barring anything unforeseen, this you would get a whole package of this with the retreat for January. So again, front, back, and I like how they did this. Do you see that? They've got this front one here, and then this one is more muted like background. This one is beautiful, um, the flowers that go with it. So again, front, back, front, back, front. These are going to look so pretty cut out like in circles or ovals. So front, uh, yeah, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, and that was it. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, let me find it again. <laughs> there it is. See how this one, it looks like these two are the same until you compare them side by side. This one is all background. This one has some uh, white space in it, or I guess purple space in it. So guys, each one of these are just absolutely fabulous. So you get the whole thing, all 123 sheets for $43, but they do have to be paid in advance. So, um, cause I've already had somebody say, oh, Dawn, I want to get that. Can you order it for me? And I'm like, nope, you have to pay for it. As soon as you pay for it, I'll take care of it for you. The Dandy Garden and this paper we used today. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so much fun. Ready? Front, back front and these do actually punch out with the um, dragonfly punch so front back front and you notice this one has larger dragonflies this one has smaller but it's the same design again back try again I got off there didn't I okay front oh sorry guys Oh, sorry. I should read these. You're getting 12 sheets. These are six by six. You're getting one of each of these. So on this one, here's the front, there's the back. Here's the front, there's the back, front, back, front, back. There you go. See, I just had to pay attention on them. So these were really a lot of fun to play with today. And I'm going to show you the cards that we made today. And we even did a technique with it. So the ladies that came, uh, the class was $20 or it was free with a purchase that they placed while they were there. Well, some of them said, no, 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 I'm not going to place an order. And some of them were my team members that came. But that way, then my team members, they've got some really nice samples and to use for their catalog launches or for classes when they choose to offer classes. So that's a Dandy Garden 6x6 paper. All right. This one is the Fine Art Floral. Oh, I love this paper. It looks, it kind of reminds me of, remember that paper we had last year that um, kind of looked like Monet paper? That's what this one kind of reminds me of as well. Now these are two each of these as well. So here's front and then that's the back. So ready? Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, and that's the end of that one. 
So guys, you see what a great deal these are. Oh, hello, Miss Jennifer. Hey, girl, just so that you know, they've got a really good special for Stampin' Up! in January for when you join my team, because I know you like joining my team. Although, the only thing is, is when you join, you do not get the celebration rewards. Um, so, like, if you were going to buy $100 worth of stuff, you'd get the celebration stuff, or you can pay the $100 and get the starter kit, and then on your first order, when you start saving your 20%, you then would get your um, celebration items. I saw this paper, and it is so pretty. I can't wait to use this. And there's an embossing folder that goes with this. Oh, I've used that thing several times already. Okay, so ready. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Then that looks so pretty. Front, back, front, and back. There we go. So that's the sand and sea. Well, hello, Miss Catherine. How are you? How's the weather down there? It's all cold and rainy here, but it's not snow. So I am not complaining at all on that. And thank you guys for tuning in here. I know normally I do noon, but I ended up having the uh, the launch party today. And one of the ladies came shortly after noon. So I was like, ooh, I'm not going to be able to be on Facebook Live. Hadn't thought of that when I said, hey, come on over here at noon. Oh my gosh. Uh, Jennifer said, hubby just asked if it was time to get the big stamp <laughs> Good man, Jennifer. Good man. You married well, honey. You married well. Make sure you tell him I said that too. Now this one, I got to tell you guys, this one, it's called um, the Ice Cream Corner. There is a punch that is an ice cream cone. Um, it's the ice cream that goes on the top of it. You know, the cone, it kind of has this rounded here and then it's got like a little, um, like the dip for the overhang here. It's got the little dip here. Guys, with that punch, when you flip it upside down, it looks like Mickey Mouse. It looks like a Mickey Mouse type of thing. So like if you did it in black and then you could put the, the red hat on it. Oh my gosh, there are so many fun things to do with that. I mean, so many fun things. So, okay, here's the ice cream. Front and back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. Doesn't this look so fun? Back, and that's the end of that one. So guys, and I know you guys can go back over and watch this later. And you know I put this on my YouTube channel. Make sure um, that you do subscribe to either, uh, whether you like and follow me here on Facebook or whether you subscribe to me on YouTube. Because I know like on YouTube, I like that because I can put it like at time and a half or double time, whichever. And I don't know about you guys, sometimes I tend to watch things when my husband and my son are in the room. Well, it's kind of nice with the closed captioning because then I can just read the words um, and pay attention that way instead. Now this one, this one, <laughs> this one, it's called Snail Mail. And for those of you who are Paper Pumpkin subscribers, this paper will coordinate with next month's kit, with the January kit. There's going to be an add-on to go with the January kit. And see how cute these are with the little, like the envelope with the heart on them? There are some little, I don't want to call them die cuts uh, or stickers, but they're like a die cut or a sticker. I don't recall which one it is. There's like, um, you know what? I'll say 10. I think there's like 20 of them on it. And then they have these cute little, I mean, it's just really going to be cute. You cannot get it unless you are a paper pumpkins, pumpkin subscriber. And that add-on kit is going to be on available on January 1st. Now, the spring catalog, the January to June catalog, that doesn't go into effect until the 5th. So, I don't know about you, but I'm placing an order on the 1st so that I can go ahead. Oh, my gosh, my nose is itching so bad. Sorry. So that I can go ahead and get those because I can, those are going to be very popular. Yeah. Okay. So, here's this paper. Um, as a demonstrator, I can order it now. When you sign up, so Jennifer, since your hubby was just asking you, you know you can order this stuff now as part of your starter kit. The only thing is, is come January, on January 5th, Stampin' Up! is offering um, some paper to go along with the starter kit. And guys, I'm not going to get into it, okay? But they're offering that in January. So you're going to get this free paper. It's like 60 some odd dollars worth of paper, I bought one of the packages, so I had to pay the 12 bucks for it. You guys get it for free, but it's really, I like the paper. So with that, 
you can get this paper now if you join now. So, all right, so here's the snail mail, and you get two of each of the sheets. So ready, front, back, front, back. Doesn't this just make you so happy to look at these? And then this one, can you see how cute that is with all those little hearts on it? I like that guy right there with his little mustache. He looks funny. <laughs> back, front, back, front, and back. So there are those. Um, as soon as January 5th comes around, I am going to order some additional packages of that paper. Because you guys know I make alternates for my Paper Pumpkin subscribers. Oh my gosh, you guys, this month's one, I have two team members who are joining me now in designing alternates. Those guys knocked it out of the park this month. So if you're one of my subscribers, you've already gotten it because after I sent mine, um, I finished up theirs because my friends are, are Kim LaRue and Donna Chambers and Donna's my mom. And mom made like four different alternate designs and Kim made two alternate designs and I made two alternate designs in addition to the 10 alternates I already had. So those guys got like 18 alternate designs just because they subscribe under me. So I, I love my subscribers. I love Paper Pumpkin. All right, so this one is the masculine one, and I know you're getting a glare there. Oh, goodness. Let me see if I can flip that over for right now. Um, on this one, you're getting 12 sheets of the 6x6, six six, two of each of them, and it's called Well Suited. It's a masculine one. There we go. Okay, so ready? Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back front and we use this or the back they had their choice today during the uh, the launch party so there's front and back and front and back so this is just really going to be fun I mean really going to be fun we made birthday cards with that one most of the other ones were all thinking of you cards um, my friend Nancy who's part of my team uh, Nancy McCune Nancy said she doesn't send um, like birthday cards anymore or anything like that she simply sends thinking of you cards, because they can be made into everything. Now, I know you're going to get a huge glare, so before I flip that over, these are the Love You Always foil. You're getting six sheets of six by six, so you're getting two of each of them. And I will tell you guys, these look beautiful when you emboss them. So I'm going to see if I can do this without. Okay, so here's the first two. I know you're getting, oh, look, you can see my, my blinds there and everything. So there's two, and there is the next two and there is the last two so again i know you're getting whoops there we go i know you're getting the uh the reflection on it but i don't know how else to do that but these look fabulous embossed so you're getting um six pieces of the six by six for this foil paper and they are so pretty i just love our foil papers and on this paper here we ended up using no we used this one here this is the Hydrangea Hill Mercury Glass and got, oh, ooh, that one almost blinded me. You're getting four sheets of the six by six, so you're getting two each. So I'm just going to show you real quick on this. If you notice, this one is um, Highland Heather and then this one here is Rococo Rose and then you see the silver. So you ready? This is the Highland Heather and the silver is on the opposite side. So it's really nice. So you get two sheets of the Highland Heather and two sheets of the Rococo Rose. And the only thing I am going to tell you, and I'm probably not going to be able to do it now because I'm talking about it. Well, of course not. Um, on the silver side, there is a plastic sheet. You do need to peel that back. The plastic sheet will come off because right now it looks kind of foggy, kind of, um, um, I don't know. We always called it like bisqueen. I'm dating myself here, but it was. it's kind of foggy, um, shaded type of thing. Once you peel that off, it's like beautiful, clear as a bell. So this is the mercury, um, the mercury glass for the hydrangea hill. And you're getting two each of those six by six. So you get four sheets of that one. And then this one, oh, this we did use tonight. And this was really pretty. This is called the Golden Garden Specialty Acetate. And guys, there's only three designs in here. Only. There's only three. There's only three designs in here. And I know you're getting more of a glare. Like there's one. And it's just got the flowers on part of it, okay? And actually, this is a big 12 by 12. So some of them have all the gold on it. And some of them have half gold and half um, the clear. And see how that looks kind of foggy? And you can see 
there's a little like air bubble right there. And then there's this one here and then this one here. Now, when you flip it over, it's the exact same design, but on silver. And I can see it over here on this. Can you see that line right there? Um, let's see. And again, it's on all of the silver side on these. Well, all of my stuff is still packed in boxes. It's right here next to me, but I can't get my paper piercer or my snips are in that. Well, oh my goodness. There we go. Can you see how that is peeling off there? Can you see how clear that is versus with that on top of it? It just gives it more of a, like a foggy type of image. So before you use it, you do want to peel that off. So again, one side is gold, one side is silver. Well, one, two, and there it is, three. So you get three sheets of the six by six, one of each of the designs. And then the last paper for this, and guys, this stuff is just so pretty. Oh, so pretty. And I think this is going to look real pretty embossed too, but I haven't played with it yet. This is the pearlescent specialty paper. You get two 12 by 12 sheets for $4. So for this, you're going to get two sheets of six by six onto it. And they're exactly the same on both. Well, <sighs> there it is. They're exactly the same on both sides. So there's not really a front or a back onto it, but you get two of the six by sixes on that. So again, guys, this is what you get. Um, for that and it is $43 or you can add $8 shipping if you want me to ship it to you. Uh, right now I am not planning on doing a ribbon share. It looks like several of the ribbons are scheduled for back order so I'm not going to take a chance on that right now. So oh hello Miss Lori um, and on these guys if something does go on back order and I'm planning on placing the order like as soon as I possibly can on the 5th if it does go on back order, I will hold all of the papers and ship everything all at once to you. That way then you get one package that has everything in it. So just so that you do know. So remember, $43. You just need to shoot me an email. And if you go to my blog, which is stampingwithdawn.com or stampingwithdawn.blogspot.com, either one, um, my email is on there. You just click the link and you can shoot me an email. If you're part of my email list, you received the um, email this morning. Okay, finally, I'm getting a little warmed up. My goodness, I have so many lights on in this room. Maybe that's doing it. Let me take my sweater off. Okay, so who's ready to craft? So you saw this. Make sure you sign up for it. They do have to be... Um, I can only do it in, in increments of four. So right now I have three, so I need one more, and then that one will close out, and I'll be ready to start the next one. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the um, stuff that we used today, but I'm only going to make, I think, just one card. I might make two. We used a couple of different things today. One of the things we used is this. It's called Punch Party. It is a celebration host set. Now, you have to have a $300 order after January 5th. So don't place the order now. After January 5th, but before February 28th, you get this stamp set for free. Now, we had to pay for it because we were able to pre-order it. I'm okay with that because I have it. But we played with this one right here. It's my heart is wherever you are. But this also coordinates with our new ovals, coordinates with our heart punches, coordinates with the rectangular postage punch. I mean, guys, this was a lot of fun. Um, and I'll show you what we did with that one. Then remember that masculine paper? It's with this set called Handsomely Suited. Well, what we did was we used this, the happy birthday one, and then we used this one for the bow tie or that one, which are, you know, they're both ties. But we used this one. And guys, I did this in, on mine, I did it in... Um, Poppy Parade was the cardstock, and then we used basic gray, and it looks just like a bow you would put on Minnie Mouse's head, is what it looks like. And then again, we did the happy birthday. So even though this is a masculine set, which I don't think we have enough masculine sets, but I struggle. I struggle so hard with masculine cards. So you can use it, even though it's masculine, you can use it for anything. Then we played with this one, the Dragonfly Garden, and I'm forgetting which one we used. Okay, not that one. So we used this one then, I guess, right? Yeah, we used this one here. And then the other thing we did was You Are an Inspiration. Those were the two that we used. And then we also filled in the um, the wings there for him. So this was a big hit. 
And then for the fourth card, because we made four cards and one um, 3D item, and I'm missing something apparently. Oh, I'll find it in a second. We use this, the floating and fluttering, and this is one big stamp here, and then we use this one, and I'm going to show you on this one, because this one was, I think, the favorite of everybody's. I know I like all of my cards, but this one was, I think, my favorite on that one. And then we used this thank you that went along with it. This is a celebration set. So it's free with a $50 order, again, during celebration. So that was one, two, three. I am missing one. I'll find it in a second. So let's see. I'm going to save that one because that's the one I want to show you. All righty. Ready to see what we made? This is the one we used using that um, Dragonfly Garden. And guys, um, Right now, there's not a tutorial. I Right now, I'm just doing up pictures to send to the ladies. If you are interested in a tutorial, I am more than willing to do that. My tutorials are $20, so that's how that will be. So this is what the ladies made at the class. Everybody had a slightly different paper here. And see, we had the um, dragonfly there. And look at that cute little ladybug charm. And there is the acetate that was there. And on this, then, once you did, you pulled this out. And there's our little dragonflies with You Are an Inspiration. So it made a cute little pocket card. And guys, this is a regular size um, card. Let me see if I can grab another one. Um, it's only four inches wide versus the four and a quarter. But see, it still fits right inside of the regular envelope. So it's four inches wide by five and a half. But we had an absolute blast playing with it. We used the new... Um, braided trim that's on there <clears throat> excuse me the new braided trim that's on there and then this paper here that's the reverse of that so that was really a lot of fun so there that was that card and that's the one we played with and we had a lot of fun with that one i mean we really did that was a lot of fun then let me see oh remember me telling you about that masculine one for the handsomely suited well, this one, they were able to choose, and I'm going to pull out the pieces and parts first. Okay, let me see. It was on a smoky slate here, and then this was the basic gray, and then here's one of the plaid papers, or you could make it like the tweed on the other side. You either could use um, Poppy Parade, or you could use Pacific Point, and both of those colors are in here. That's the two of the colors that are in there. So I did mine in the Poppy Parade, and we also used the gold glitter enamel dots. Oh, I love those things. I'm so glad they brought those back and they are in the big catalog. Now, I did change mine to use the tweed on this side. And I did the just the, the girl bow on it. And we I put those on there. Some of the other ladies, they just moved their bling down here to the center or something. And then the red is the um, poppy parade. So it was just a real quick, fast card. And the ladies will tell you, this was the last card we made because card number three was a doozy. They really, really worked hard on that one. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So there's that one. And then one, two, three... Oh, that was it. Um, hold on. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. Okay, I knew I'd put that away. Oh, I know it is. It's absolutely adorable, Jennifer. This one is a celebration one. It's called A Touch of Ink. Now, on this one, guys, there are 17 stamps on this one. You have to have a $100 order in order to get this one, okay? So, and even I couldn't buy it. I had to have a $100 order in order to earn it. Uh, Stampin' Up! being a wonderful company that they are, they actually let us earn celebration benefits during the month of December. Uh, they do that so that then we have this stuff so that we can then make up our card classes, get ready for that kind of stuff. So it makes it just really nice as a demonstrator. They treat us like customers, but they also treat us like demonstrators. So we have the absolute best of all worlds on it. So with that, because the hummingbird's so cute. And we used the thinking of you here. I knew I had another one. I put all my stamps away. So what we did on this one. Oh, here, let me take this out. This is, oops, Seaside Spray is the color on this one. And Seaside Spray, just so that you know, is one of the retiring in colors. That's Purple Posy, Terracotta Tile, 
um, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, oh, Pretty Peacock, and then Seaside Spray. Well, guys, this paper here is one of the free papers that comes with Celebration. That one's free with a $50 order, and then this one, the Touch of Ink, is free with a $100 order. The Seaside Spray Ribbon, the metallic ribbon, we had it last year, and they brought it back, so it's in the big catalog. And then this is the um, Stitched So Sweetly for the die there. And then I'm going to come back to these right here in a minute. Let me grab so I don't forget. You will need your blends. I used the Dark Night of Navy for the blend on that. So what we did was we used Night of Navy, and I even had a little note here that said stamp the outline first, then you stamp the insides. Can you see this is the Night of Navy outline, and then on the inside is the Seaside Spray. When I first did it, I only did the inside one. Well, on the inside one, there is no beak. See, look, there's no beak here. So when I did it, his beak where his beak would have been was off of the paper. So I made sure that the ladies knew that ahead of time. And this is on Whisper White. And guys, you do know Whisper White is now officially sold out. I've done this for so long and I knew that they said it was coming um, to an end. So I have been stockpiling it. So I have enough that should last me another month, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but I have enough, so I will still be able to use Whisper White on mine. So with those, and then all we did was this was uh, just a three by four piece of paper, I think. And we just put it on, what would that be? A three and an eighth by four and an eighth or three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of Night of Navy. Put it up there on dimensionals and boom, you're ready to go. So on this one, this was so much fun. Because like I said, do you notice it's got the outline and then the filling? And see, there's the outline, which looks fine just by itself. But once you do that, do that that you stamp the inside and then we do we did have to fussy cut there is not a die or a punch with this but it was kind of nice because it's pretty easy to go around but look can you tell in there it's even got the shading within it so they're not lining up perfectly if you look you can see there's some of the seaside spray there there's some seaside spray outside of there some over in there it doesn't line up perfectly it's not supposed to and that's a good thing so we did that and then we just fussy cut it and I put that up on dimensionals. But these right here, and of the ladies that came, um, a couple of them did not know that you could color our pearls. So what I'm gonna show you is, maybe, here's the pearls. And can you see, we've all colored on those. All you do for the pearls is you just take, um, I do the thin end, okay, on the Dark Night of Navy. And all I did was I just, colored the top of it here, and then I just kind of went around it to make sure I got the sides. And that's how I showed all of them how to do it. Now, some of them just took it home with them because they were like, oh no, I can do that on my own. Okay, you ready? And Close that up, see if I can, can you see that? Then it makes it a Knight of Navy pearl to match onto it. Guys, so much fun. And you guys know me. I have almost all of the blends. I don't have all of them. Um, I don't know why, but I don't have all of them. But they're just fun to do. And then we just put a little tiny bit of ribbon up there on it. So again, just something fun. This one wasn't a hard card to do either. Okay, so. All right, who wants to make a card? Let me show you what we did. Um, okay, so this goes back here. And that goes there, and hmm, do you want the card first or the box first? I'll show you both of them. Um, let's get my stuff out here. First one to answer is card or a box. You guys get to let me know whichever one you think. And that, oh, I'm going to need that. I don't need that. I do need that. This card or box. We need those for the box. And I need this for the card. Why, well, hello, Miss Pam, or hello, North Carolina. Thank you so much there, dear, for sharing that. I do appreciate that greatly. I love that you guys share that. That really helps me out a great deal. Okay, thank you, Miss Pam. Box it is. All righty, on this one, and again, guys, you're going to change it up to fix however you want. But this is one of the papers that's free with the um, celebration. I think it's called Field of Flowers. I'd have to look. The other side is, you know... Um, like a more muted one, but this one was just really pretty. And then this was a box. And guys, on this box, for those of you who are my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, all the dimensions are on that because I made a box um, for, 
there's my paper pumpkin box that we made. And then, ready? This is the box we made here. Now, I do have to tell you, on mine, I had not inked mine well. So when I stamp it here with you, it's going to show up so much cuter. Alrighty, so here on the box, and you're you're going to fix it to be whatever candy you're putting in. Okay, guys, like I said, I can do a tutorial. They are $20 for the tutorial um, because I have it all written down and it's not right in front of me, unfortunately. So everything was already scored. And actually, I went ahead and had all of these cut for each of the ladies when they came. And the one lady, she was so cute. She was like, Dawn, I have to leave by 3.15. I think she came during her lunch hour and she drives quite a ways away. Well, bless her heart. She was, um, the card that I'm going to show you is going to take a little bit of time with that. It's a wow. I mean, it's a complete wow, but it takes a little bit of time. So while she was working on that, I was cutting this and showing her how to do it all. So I'm just going to fold all of these in. And again, guys, you're going to fiddle with yours to make it the size that you want. I wanted mine to be about three quarters inches high. And I only wanted to use about a half of a sheet of cardstock. So that way then I could get two boxes out of each piece of paper. So, and this box, because I knew I had done this, I was thinking it was like a year or two ago. When I was doing my paper pumpkin tutorial, I was like, I know I have those directions somewhere. Ready for this? It was in 2016 was the last time I did this exact box. I was like, holy cow, 2016, really? Alrighty, so... On this, I'm going to use tear and tape. You can use the Seal Plus, which is the darker blue, or you can use the green glue, the multi-purpose liquid glue. This was out and it was just easier for me. And it also made it easier for the ladies because, you know, we're doing classes in my garage. So what they do is they come over here and they stamp everything. They take their pictures or I send them the pictures afterwards, whichever they prefer. Oh my goodness, that just went flying. So they have all of the pieces and parts. Everything is stamped. So they can go right home and do it. Because Stampin' Up! does not allow us to do a stamped image. They just don't. That's one of the rules. And I kind of like being a demonstrator. So I don't think I'm going to break that rule. I know you guys understand. So I'm just putting it on here. And this is similar to the old red liner tape. If anybody remembers that. But on this, I don't know if you can see here, I'm just holding it right there. And all I do is pull this up and it tears. It's beautiful. I love this stuff. And guys, just so that you know, I can do this as cash and carry. So I actually have some of these here at the house. I don't have a lot, but if anybody does need them, I do have them. Okay, now the box is going to close up like this. See how that goes? So let's make this right here my top. So I'm going to grab my regular seal, which is almost out. Of course, it's almost out. We'll see if we can make it go this far. There we go. And because I know this is gonna be up, I wanna make sure that the orientation is up this way and all it does is just fit in there. And again, guys, you're gonna make it to fit whatever size you want. So there is that. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp real quick because if I don't, it won't have time to dry. So we are using, this is the shimmery white paper. And we're using cherry cobbler. And and again, I just opened this and played with it today. There is a bad spot on my stamp. So I'm going to have to call Stampin' Up. So it's not going to have a wonderful image, but there's um, like a warping on that piece right there. But Stampin' Up always stands by their stuff. There, you can see it. It's right along in there. But it is what it is. So I have it. I'm using it. And I'm still excited about it. But all I'm going to do is reach here and then press down. There, see how that didn't do real well? Like I said, there's a bad spot on it. Stampin' Up! will make it right. They always do. They're just wonderful people there. So go ahead and close that up. Put that back. And then I grabbed my Dark Cherry Cobbler Blend. And the heart, which is like your hot air balloon, I'm just going to try to color that in without putting my noggin here in the camera. So there is that. And you just want to be real careful as you're doing this because the ink may still be a little damp. Um, you know our stamp pads are all very, very juicy. So we just got to kind of be careful on those. 
right there. See, doesn't that look so cute? And then I'm going to grab my punch, which is the rectangular punch. Open that little guy up, and then you just feed it through. And again, try to center it while you're on camera without putting your noggin in there. <laughs> there we go. Pop that little guy out. And the other thing that I'm going to need is, and I just did the one and a half inch circle. Uh, I know you can't see that, sorry. It's one and a half inch circle because on your box, when the box is together, it's kind of hard to open it if it's tucked in. So the front flap here, you're gonna to wanna to take, and you can do this with any circle or oval or anything like that, but you just kind of eyeball it that it's about center and you just want just a little tiny bit. See how that's in there? There we go. And if you do it right, the piece goes flying. So there is that. And then I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. Ah, here they go. My dimensionals are right here. And guys, the reason you do this is you put your entire box, the pieces and parts all together before you assemble the box. And the reason you do that, anybody? is because it's easier to assemble the box while it is flat. It's easier to decorate the box while it is flat. It just is. So there's that. So I've got that going the right way. And I'm gonna put it right here on my paper. And that's just gonna go right here in the center or close enough in the center. There's that. Now we're gonna put our box together. I have found, and you guys may choose to do yours a different way, okay? I can only do one flap at a time. If I do more than one flap, it always, always gets stuck to something else. And to get this off, you can use like um, your paper piercer, your pickup tool, or your scissors, and you're just going to kind of peel that little piece up. My mom always uses tweezers on hers. I don't do tweezers, so. Alrighty, so there's that, and it just folds in, and you put that right in there. And then this side over here. Now see, I can't lay it flat because the other side's already done. So there's one, and two. I know, fascinating watching me put this box together, isn't it? But wait until you see the card that I'm gonna do. Everybody that did this card, and it was a technique that I've used for years, years, years. Everybody either had seen it before but didn't remember it. They're like, oh, yeah, that's right. I do kind of remember that. Or they had never seen it before and was like, oh, my gosh, this is so nice. And it's so relaxing. And it really kind of is. All right. So, see, I peeled that one up because I didn't use my scissors. So... Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. And on this case, yeah, I'm not going to do it. This flap here that's in the center, you want that to fold into the bottom of the box. And then you just are lining that up. There we go. And I just press. And there we go. Same thing over here. I'm just going to move that one in. And again, because the box is already being assembled, you can't lay it flat anymore. So that's another reason why you go ahead and you put everything all together all at once. Decorate it and everything. There we go. Okay, and then this piece, you just kind of line that up in here. I went to Kroger's uh, yesterday, the day before, something like that. They still had a little bit, a little tiny bit of Christmas candy left. So I got those um, Ghirardelli chocolate squares and that's what we use today on this. And I'm going to show you how this fits in here, too. I might have to steal them off of my paper pumpkin one, though, because I didn't think to grab the box or the bag. And the bag is in, well, goodness gracious, the bag is in the other room. So I will show you how it fits. All right, so there's that one. And again, that just folds on in here. Well, hello, Miss Carol Kay. Thank you for tuning in here, sweetheart. How are you? Did I see you guys got snow? Um, I think you made a uh, derogatory comment to the snow, if I believe, if that was what I read correctly. Was that you? Was that somebody else? But you do live up there in Michigan, so there is snow up there. It's kind of like Ohio. We get the snow, too. It's nice. It's pretty to look at, but sometimes just not so much. 
All right, so let me steal this out of my... Let me steal it from the koala real quick. So you're ready for this? Then all you got to do is just put one and two. And actually, you could double stack these. So you could have eight, or I'm sorry, you could have four in there. One, two, and then three, four on it. And then this just tucks in. How stinking cute is that? I just think it's so cute. Six inches. Oh my gosh. I would definitely have to be wearing my boots for that one, girlfriend. So how cute was that? Now that everything's all done, and because I'm going to set it aside so it can dry, I'm going to grab hold of my little Wink Estella, shake that little guy up, and I'm just going to color here on the heart balloon. Now, because this is the shimmer white, there's already some shimmer on it. You just can't have enough shimmer, though. I mean, let's be honest, right? You just can't. So there is that. Ta-da! Look at how cute. Do you like my new grid paper? This is what Stampin' Up! sent to us as part of our... They call it on stage. It's kind of like um, our big training. So there, can you see the, the sparkle on that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's right there on the heart. But there, we've got cute little chocolates in it. So that was thing number one. Are you ready for thing number two? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to show you this. And let's see. Oh, the box, by the way. Whoops, got one running there. The box was the punch party. It was that one right there was what we used. Alrighty, so... This one here, we used the floating and fluttering. And because you notice there's no words on this one. So I used the thank you. And this is for the heal your heart, which is a celebration item. <coughs> Excuse me. Celebration item. So the stamp set is free with a $50 purchase. And this is the red rubber onto it. I mean, guys, I just got these. They're not even mounted. I did cut everything, but I just haven't been able to mount everything yet. So, um... This is what we used. We did use the um, sentiment or the square rectangle, whatever. And then we used this big piece here with the butterflies in it. There are coordinating dies with it. Okay, now you are going to need markers. Minimum of three. I prefer five. So you guys know this is the retiring in colors. We've got our purple posy. We have seaside spray. We have Rococo rose terracotta tile, and pretty peacock. Now, guys, for those of you who don't know, the pretty peacock, or try again, the purple, po yeah, purple posy, the, the pale purple here, they could not get the stamp pad to be the right shade, the right color that it would all match. You know how our stuff always matches? They couldn't get it to do that. So there is not a stamp pad of Purple Posy, nor is there a, an ink refill of Purple Posy. We do have the blends and we do have the markers. And the blends were on sale on the clearance rack for like $1.80 a piece. So you got the double set for like $3.60. I mean, that was really nice. So here we've got the purple posy for the, the card base. And then because it's a coordinating color, I went ahead and I grabbed the um, pretty peacock. And on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put dimensionals on and put that on so I can just set the card base aside. So on this one, I'm just gonna put them in each of the four corners. And I'm actually gonna do it kind of like the Brady Bunch type of thing. So there's three on the top, three in the center, and three on the bottom, just to make it so that it doesn't go concave on me. I know, fascinating, isn't it? Well, hello, Miss Deborah. Thank you for showing up here, dear. Well, hello, Miss Stephanie. Stephanie was here earlier. Her catalog launch is Saturday, isn't it, Miss Steph? So she's going to have some beautiful stuff. So if you're in Central Ohio, make sure you talk to my friend Stephanie. She is absolutely very talented on her card making. So this piece is just going to go right on here. Whoops. Right onto here. And we're just going to set it down there. So it just has a little tiny bit of the purple border. And then for the card, we're done for this part right now. So we're going to set it aside. Oh, Miss Carol, thank you so much for sharing. I do appreciate that. That helps me out tremendously when you guys do that. So remember, we're going to use this one here and this one. And then we're going to use the words, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside. And let's see, I think. Yeah, okay. So... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do that outline one, the rectangle. Now, normally, this is called the thumping. Just think of like thumper, Bambi and thumper. The thumping technique, and it has been around, 
pretty much since God was a child. I mean, guys, I've known this for a long time. So it's been around for a while. What you normally do is your lightest shade, which in this case would be Purple Posy, I would ink this up in my Purple Posy stamp pad. Some people have Purple Posy stamp pads. Some people do not. Regardless of if you have it or not, it's no longer available. So I only like to show you what is available. So we're going to use the marker. You're always going to use the brush tip, which is the wide line on it, not the pen tip. So you always want to grab hold and look at where the brush tip is and grab hold and open that up. And then what, what we're going to do is you're just going to go along and line that up here. And you're just coloring it all in the purple posy. You also want to make sure you have your chamois nearby because you do have to clean this off after each and every time because of using all the different colors. So I'm done with the purple posy, so I'm going to set that there. And then I'm going to grab hold of my seaside spray and I'm going to again use the brush tip. Now this is an odd shape, so I'm just going to do this one, but I'll show you on the butterflies more of how it is. You're just going to go along and tap is what you're doing. And I'm just kind of tapping along. And you can't really see if you're getting it because this is such a light shade. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my Rococo Rose. And again, I can't really see. So, and I usually try to go two times around. Now that we're getting into the terracotta tile, see, you can see that one a little bit more. And the final one is called Pretty Peacock. And this one you can definitely see. Now, we had to improvise, adapt, and overcome because of COVID. Normally, at this particular moment, you would grab hold of this and you would breathe on it, which is called huffing. You go, and you can see how it's kind of got the moisture on it. And that just moisture uh, puts the moisture back onto it. And I'm going to stamp this up here in the top corner. And let me see if I can do this without getting my noggin in there. Well, it's going to be a little cattywampus. And then you press down and pull up. Yep, see it's crooked, but that's okay. You get the idea, but you can see how that is all the different shades into it. So what you want to do then is you want to grab your chamois, and mine is well loved, well used, and it has been bleached. So that's why mine is white now instead of the pretty purple that it used to be. But you notice the ink all stayed into it. So you just wipe that off. And those of you who know me, you know I still use my cleaner because it's got a conditioner in it, and none of my knock on wood, none of my Stampin' Up! stamps have ever cracked. Some of my um, cheaper ones pre-Stampin' Up! have cracked, but I use that cleaner conditioner on my stamps all the time, so it does not crack. So there, that one's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and set that back down. Then I'm going to grab, you know what, let's do the thank you. I'm going to go ahead and put the thank you in there, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So again, we grab hold of this. And we just wipe this all on here. Oops, I missed a couple spots on that. Well, it is what it is, right? Okay. And then again, we just keep going. So I'm going to grab the blue. And I'm just going to tap it along on there. And it's just kind of intermittent. Just adding a little bit of color. Then do the same thing with Rococo Rose. And you can see this takes a little while, but it's not hard. It's just a little time consuming is all the more it is, guys. And every time I have ever done this, um, the recipient always goes, oh my gosh, this is great. How did you do this? And one time, one time I had um, a workshop here and one of my friends brought her friend. And now here you're going to just go, ah. Again, you breathed on it to make sure that it's all good. And then because obviously I can't stamp straight, I'm going to put this kind of cattywampus, press down, and see how that looks like that. When I did this, we had an old stamp set called Swallow Tail. It was a huge butterfly. I mean, it was huge. It took up the whole thing of your card, right? Well, I did this with the thumping technique, and this uh, it was my friend Jeanette. She brought her friend Linda, and Linda has since moved away. She lives in, I don't remember, Carolina or some, one of the Carolinas. Um, Linda, when we made that card, I demonstrated that card, but when I made that, she was like, oh my gosh, and I didn't think she was going to buy anything because, you know, she just came along with her friend just to support her friend coming to a card class. She called me up later. She's like, I want that stamp, and I'm like, 
oh, I didn't think you stamped. And she's like, no, I want that stamp. And I'm like, okay, not a problem. I can hook you up on that. And back then we had wood. So even though she wasn't a stamper, she bought a set of the markers. She bought, I think, the whole color family. And then she also bought the swallowtail. And then she bought a couple packages of paper so she could make her cards. She was happy as a clam. All right, so here, remember the butterflies that are here. I'm going to take the purple. Now, this is when you'll actually see how you really want to do it. It works better with larger stamps because it's more striking. And you want to color the purple posy all over it. And you're just coloring it with your brush on your marker. And then I'm just kind of going to go to the other side just to make sure I have most of it on there. You do have to do this because you want the purple to show through. There's that one. Okay, so now we've got this, and now we're gonna grab the seaside spray. I'm gonna move that aside. This is where it's really fun. You just kind of hold it, and you're just gonna tap it. You're thumping it, and I'm rotating this. I'm rotating the block, and I try to do it twice so that I'm back up to where I was. There we go. Put that one back in. Grab hold of the pink, or the Rococo Rose. Same thing, you just go along, and you can see this is really kind of easy, and it's kind of fun. Oops, I think I did that. That's my third time. Well, we'll have a little bit more pink on this one. All righty, and then the Reco or the terracotta tile. And you're just kind of hitting it, hit or miss. You're not aiming for anything in particular. So does everybody see how this, I mean, it's kind of fun. It's really a lot of fun. And you definitely need markers. You just do. Okay, now this one will really show up because of the green. And you're just moving this around. And by moving it around, the tip is changing too. So some of them are going this way, some of them are going that way, some of them are going caddy. You know, it just all moves. And again, remember I said I kind of go it around twice. And let's just hit a couple more of those in there. All right, so now that I've got it, and this is where it's fun, and you have to do this several times. So you're going to go, <sighs> so I've huffed it. And then I'm going to first do down here. And I'm just going to kind of, mm, let's just move it this way. And then ready? I press down. Ready? Ready? Drum roll. And everybody go, wow, isn't that so pretty? I mean, it is just beautiful, guys. Now, because you've already got the dark color onto it, and I'm going to start back again with my purple posy, you have to take your chamois and you got to clean that off. So... And you do want to make sure you get down in kind of those nooks and crannies because even if the um, there's green down in there, if you hit it with the light purple, the purple posy, then the purple posy ink is going to transfer onto your, I'm sorry, the pretty peacock ink is going to transform, transfer to your purple posy marker. And you don't want that. Okay, so there's one. So now I'm going to do the whole thing over again. And... You're just going to kind of go along on it. And every single set of these is going to look different because you're coloring each one differently. So that's why it's a lot of fun. And guys, yes, you see that it does take time to do, but it is so worth it. I mean, so worth it. And remember, this is called thumping, like Thumper from Bambi. And again, we hold it here. I've started here with my Butterfly up on the top, and I just start rotating here, move him around a second time. There we go. Move to the pink, and do you notice how I have those just sitting there? So that way then I can go ahead and just keep them in the right order. I don't even have to think about it. You know, it's late at night. I have been busy all day. So to me, it's like, okay, whew, I don't got to think now. There's that one. Although I'm sure you all do think, let's see, it's what, 11, or 8 o'clock at night? 11. It's 8 o'clock at night, so you guys are probably all just starting on it. I'm ready for bed. What they say, 9 o'clock is the new midnight, right? 30 is the new, or 50 is the new 30. I don't know. So I want to make sure I have all of those, and then I'm going to grab hold of those, the green one last. And we're just going to go along. And I'm going to do the second time around. And I'm going to put a couple extras on there. And see, I hit the glass block there. It's okay that I did that. Oh, Marsha, I can't wait till you see what you, what you do with it. It is a lot of fun. So on this one, again, I'm going to go 
breathe on it, re-moisten everything, and then what I'm going to do is just kind of put this in here. Ready? And I press down. Now, here's a secret for you. You can turn around and re-ink this again, like what you just did, or for here on your envelope, just go and re-moisten it. So it's going to be very, very faded. Ready? I press down because everybody throws away the envelope, but look, therefore the envelope now looks stressed up too. Now you and I both know that that matches this one, but they're not gonna know. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna wipe this off one more time because I have a dead space up there. Whoops. And I'm gonna do the last one. So you can see why this one took a little bit longer and why we did that one with the bow being so much easier. You know, they were only here for, I don't know, about 45 minutes. Each person signed up for a time because, you know, we have to do social distancing and I had to clean off all the blocks and, you know, sterilize and do everything like that in between. So this made it so much easier. But this one did take a little bit of time because a lot of the ladies either hadn't seen it or it's been a long time since they had seen it. So with this then, I'm just going to grab hold here, go along on that. And Hobbs was in the house, and Joshua, he's still at work right now. So Hobbs wanted to come out and play, and poor Paul was working upstairs. And, you know, Hobbs is a little tiny dog. He's only like 25, 26 pounds. So he's got that yip, yip, yip sound on him. I think my husband could hear it, even with his noise-canceling headphones. So Hobbs is very happy to have us back inside the house, and he will be very happy when Joshua comes home. All right, so ready? Let me start it at the top. Just have your system so you know about how you're doing it. I just always choose to start at the top and I rotate it two times around. That way then I know I should have hit it by a pretty good time. There's that one. Pink or Rococo Rose. And this one you can kind of start to see. Now when you're on the white grid paper, you can actually see a little bit better because then it's white. Whereas this one is what Stampin' Up! sent for the on stage, and I think it was really cool, but it just doesn't show up as well. So you guys liking this with the technique? Did you like the box better, or do you like this card better? Although you haven't seen the card yet. Oops, my sleeve got turned up. Um, although you haven't seen the card in its completion yet. So what do you think? Do you guys like 3D items, or do you like the um, the cards? You guys know with the uh, to, uh, the retreat that I'm doing next month, um, it's all cards. It's 12 cards. And then the last one is the pretty peacock. It's all cards. It's 12 cards. But for the pillow gift that I'm going to show you guys how to do that you will receive and then I'll demonstrate how to do will be a 3D item. And you guys know uh, last time I think they got uh, biscotti is what I put in mine. So it's just it's a fun thing. And especially with, you know, Valentine's Day coming up. Be something nice you could give to somebody. Okay, I'm just going to hit that a couple more times. There we go. All righty, we ready? <gasps> the moment of truth. Ready? <sighs> now on this one, you are going to want to see how it fits into it. And see that one, there is a little bit of room. So I'm just going to go loop and press down. And you notice this is the larger block. This is the, um, what is that, the E block. And see on this one right here, I evidently didn't press very well. So I have a choice that I can try to line it back up. See if I can get it. Eh, close enough. That one gave a little bit of a shadow. And then when you're done, you're just going to grab hold of this and wipe that off. So how many of you have seen this technique before? It's called thumping. How many of you have seen that before? Or is this something new to you? I always like to know whether or not it's something that you guys have all seen. Because, you know... Everything can be made new again, right? It's kind of like bell bottoms coming back on us, right? So this one does have to go on a larger block. So once that is on there, let's see. Hmm, okay, so now that's on there. So now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to grab my adhesive, my seal. And... Oh, and we had some questions on this today, too, with the seal. Um because it does take a little bit to learn it. A lot of people are trying to hold it straight up like that. You need to hold it down a little bit like that. Um, so just make sure you hold it down when you're putting this on there. Okay, so now I've got my card and I wanna make sure it's gonna open the right way and I'm gonna put my thank you on that. I'm just gonna set that right into there. 
Boy, that really does look cockeyed, doesn't it? Well, I think they'll still like it, so we should be good. Then I'm going to turn around. I'm going to grab my rhinestones, and I'm just going to place three rhinestones on here. Let's do let's do each size. There's the large one. There's one, a medium one, two, and a small one, three. Ta-da! And there you have a cute card. Oh, thank you, Marsha, for telling me that's new to you. And you're a good card maker. Boy, that makes me feel good. Thank you. Thank you, because I know you make some very pretty cards. So today, for this Facebook Live, we made this card and we made this box. And then I showed you the additional cards that we made during... Ugh, ugh. I have everything all in boxes and there was a punch on the top. So this is what I just made here for these. And then here were the other ones that we made during today's catalog launch. So again, it was $20 or it was free with a minimum purchase. So I think we got a pretty good deal. And then like I said in here, you've got your chocolate. I guess I should go that way. You've got your chocolate. And yes, guys, these are Christmas chocolates, but they're still good. And they were just marked down. So that's what makes it fun. Did some Wink Estella, did the pearls, the rhinestones, the gold glitter dots, the cute little, um, yeah, the ladybug onto that. We used punches, we used markers, we used blends. We did two-step stamping, we did punching. I mean, guys, we had an absolute blast. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really do. And I hope that you enjoy my classes. This is what I do for the classes. So if this is kind of the stuff that you would enjoy, make sure you sign up for the retreat. You have until, what did I say, January 4th, because I can't order everything until January 5th. I do have um, the samples ready to go. But I'm a little nervous on posting those because they've already let us know that some items are selling faster than what they had anticipated. So I'm hoping I don't have to retool those. Um, one of the classes that I did recently, the last Christmas card class, it was this month, the Perfectly Plaid. I think I retooled that one three or four times because the first set of paper went on back order. And then the second thing, something else went. And then the third thing was the punch went on back order. And it was finally like, okay, you know what? I'll just, we improvise, adapt, and overcome. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, thank you. Here's my heart to you. I hope you enjoyed this. I do thank you very much for sharing it with your friends. That does help me a lot on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And then again, just make sure you're part of my email list. Text Text the word Latte Joy to 22828, and then you'll just fill out the information so that you are on my email list so you all get all of it. So, and let's see, Nancy said, love seeing, oh, I love seeing the new product. I love playing with the new products. Oh, you guys want to see one more thing? Can I show you the new blending brushes? Oh, Summer, thank you so much. All right, talk amongst yourself. I'm going to go grab this. You got to see these. Okay, last one, I promise. After this, I'm done. I set this out so everybody could see. And I wiped everything down, guys, with Clorox bleach wipes and all. These are the new... Oh, goodness. They're called blending brushes. And it comes in a three-pack, okay? Now, you guys know when we've colored before, we've done it like with the uh, the sponges. You know, you put a little sponge on You put a sponge and then you ink it up and then you kind of move it around. Well, these... I looked at these and I was like, oh, okay. And they're called brushes, but I thought, okay, well, they're kind of like a foam. You're going to ink it up and you're just going to do. You ready for this? Those are brushes, guys. These are like brushes, uh, you know, hence the blending brushes. Can you guys see all those little bristles in there? And it goes down like really far. I mean, look, that takes care of my first fingernail all the way down. So these are like the coolest thing. And I'm sure it's ergonomic, okay? But it does have something that you can hold on to that you can then use. Now, obviously, you can tell I've not played with mine yet. So I have no idea how well they clean up, if I can go from a lighter to a dark or reuse them or anything like that. So these, I can't wait to start playing with these. These are on the list of things that are outselling what they had anticipated. So right now we can only order, I think we could only order one. Um, they did have limits on us as demonstrators, which is a good thing. That's why we joined is so we can get access to this stuff earlier. But look, three of them, they're all exactly the same. One's not like, you know, mama bear, papa bear, and baby bear. It's none of those. They're all exactly the same. They just give you three of them. 
And I want to say they're, you know what, let me tell you they're $15. I think they're only $12. But let's say each one is roughly four to five dollars, okay? So way worth it, especially if I could wash it out and reuse them. But oh, I just thought that was so cool that these were brushes. So uh, Marcia says, I've never used blends until I met you. Oh, well, good. I am so glad. I love those blends. And like I said, did you know with the blends that you could color the pearls on that? You could do the blends on your pearls and on your rhinestones. Now, yeah, it takes a little bit more time. I love that they gave us some new pearls that are in there that are in four different colors, one of which, Nancy Francis, is Highland Heather. So there's like, I think there's actually two purples in that one. Um, so we do have some new pearls coming on the horizon for us. And again, barring anything unforeseen, I'm planning on using those new pearls with the retreat as well. Guys, you guys all do have to sign up for it by the 4th. You have to sign up and pay for it by the 4th because on the 5th, I am placing that order. And guys, I am planning on placing that order like as soon as possible so that I don't miss out on the stuff. So um, hope, knock on wood, that you know I don't lose out on it. So, okay there, I'll let you guys go. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go to bed because I have been up since about three o'clock this morning trying to get the garage ready. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. This is just such a fun technique. It works way better if it's a much larger or a more detailed like that. Like this, you can't really see that much on or the wording you can't really see that much on. But this is so cool. And this is the markers, whereas the blue for coloring here. That is the blends, and this was the blends for coloring here in the heart. So the blends are more permanent. If you used markers on your pearls or on your rhinestones, it wipes off, guys. It's like a water base. So just be aware you have to use blends on these. It has to be the alcohol-based. So, and I do have one customer who is very allergic to our blends, so she probably won't use them. So she would, of course, want to buy the new purple pearls that goes along. So guys, don't forget the designer series paper share. You do have to sign up for that. I will send you the invoice and you do have to pay for it before I can order. And again, that order is also going in on the 5th. That's and see, if you do it right with the thumping, guys, you get ink all over your hands, too. That's welcome to my world. Have a great night, guys. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you Ha! Huh, here. Ready? I'll see you next year because I'll see you on Sunday, which would be January, what would that be, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, January 3rd at 9 p.m. at night. So make 2020, let it go out well, okay, guys? Enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, and I don't know about you, but I am really looking forward to 2021. Like they say, hindsight's 2020. I am definitely ready to look at that in the rearview mirror. Enjoy, guys. Happy New Year. Um, oh, make sure my mom, uh, my grandmother was um, German descent. So we always had to have um, sauerkraut on New Year's Eve. And when we were kids, we didn't like um, bratwurst. So we always had hot dogs with sauerkraut. You have to have a forkful, a teaspoon, you know, a spoonful, something of sauerkraut to bring in the new year. I think we missed out on that last year and it showed. So I am so going to make sure I eat a big, huge bowl of sauerkraut and I'm not a sauerkraut person, but I'm taking anything I possibly can to make 2021 better. Well, thank you, Miss Lori. Happy New Year to you too. And Miss Jennifer, thank you. I saw the little heart pop up on the side. So thank you guys very much. You do fill my heart um, tremendously. Um, I do this because I love doing it, but it's so nice seeing my friends on here, especially since I can't see a lot of you in person. So guys, happy new year. Have a great day. See you next year. Bye-bye now.